Okay, so, um, let me see. So, um, um for the, uh, sculpt mode thing. Right. <laughs> You want to get your mesh in a folder with the buffer. I like to do it like this. And then just export it. It should be fine with just everything. Also, you will need to grab all the like tattoos and cyberware because they usually are just outside of the body and if you don't grab them for reference if like when you fit it too much it will clip with the tattoo okay so we got everything exported and then we can delete the cube and just import the fbx not export. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> right, you can select everything and give it a second and it will load. So uh, the problem with the bones are you they usually block a lot of stuff. So either you there's a settings to make them not take up that much space, it's here like when you click on a armature like if you click on this it won't have the tab but if you click on the armature and go to um, viewport display this one you can change it to a stick I like to do a stick one like it will look better so you can another thing you can do is just hide them the quick uh, hotkey for that is H yeah just hide everything Though you need to keep in mind that when you are exporting, you will need to uh, unhide them or uh, Blender won't export them. Yeah. So um, now that we have hidden all of them, you can see this is your body. I didn't import the head because I don't know why I didn't, but nah. you can see that it resembles the uh, in-game clipping quite well though honestly this mesh is not that good to uh, like try like showcase because it always has one sub mesh and that's easier than multiple but that's fine so um, I usually I would like to put it in like this is the settings and I like to put it on random just so I can see like what exactly is clipping and um, if you want to keep it tidy you can rename the armature it doesn't matter like for example if what is this this is a cyberware tattoo we can name, rename it to cyberware tattoo just so it's more tidy but it's fine if just for like simple refitting so um scope mode is uh like the hotkey is, you can uh, go to scope mode via here this one or there's a hotkey for it to change modes it's control and tab this is very useful for just quick se selecting what you need okay so when you enter scope mode Keep in mind, you have to select what you want to scope. For example, if you accidentally selected the the arms, and it will not, you won't be able to edit the tank if you want to refit it. You will only be able to edit this one. So, yeah. Oh, also by the way, if you don't know about short uh, short keys, it's uh, Control Z to revert. That and uh, control shift c to uh, what's it called even <laughs> undo and redo <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah it's here okay so select the tank and then we can control tab and scope mode it up 
Now there's a lot of brushes. For refitting, you will mostly be needing just these two, and mostly this elastic deform. And then when you want to put like very minor and sharp, like small stuff, you use grab. I mostly use elastic deform and just uh, like tweak it with edit mode because for me it's easier. So this tool allows you to pull stuff like like this. And the thing about Blender is, uh, if you go like zoom in, the brush is the same. Like it's kind of weird, but also uh, I've gotten used to it. So basically, the brush stays the same on your screen. So if you zoom in more, it will be more detailed, and if you zoom it, zoom out, it will be bigger. So sometimes it's easier to control like for example I, if i want to go big on this and just pull it out it will be easier to do that so yeah as you can see to fix clipping is really easy you just go here like this is clipping and you just pull out like so it's like um what you call it i forgot basically Put out here until it's not clipping, and here. Oh, I don't know if you know, but um, to change view, you press middle mouse button and just rotate. And if you want to move, it's shift and middle mouse button to move. Okay, so we just fix this real quick. Okay, and then we should be done for this one. That's quick, right? So go back to object mode, and you can see it's all down. And um, to export, you need to unhide this. And what I like to do is to only export selected. So to do that, you need to select everything. For example, if you want to export this thing, what is this? This is the body. You will unhide this, click on the armature, or the last sum mesh is fine, and shift click on the thing to select everything, and then you export. So if I if we want to export the tank, you just click on the sum mesh or the armature, and then shift click on the sum mesh, and then make sure it's selected. Go to export, SBX, and the settings is very important. We don't want all of the other stuff, so we only want armature and shift click on the mesh to select, like shift click to select multiple. So, and selected objects, and we don't want animation and the geometry tick, tick off this. Okay, and I like to navigate to uh, all the old folders and just call it something like tank. Okay, it's done. We can go back to noises. So noises, it doesn't really refresh. So just click on anywhere else and click back, and you should see the tank. Double click to see it, and if you want to make sure everything is fine, click on the skeleton to see the the rig. And then click on the um so I can briefly tell you what is this. Like this is to show different blends. It's sometimes like for hair, usually you would need to click it a few times to make it appear. And this is to show face call. Um face call is basically um like I don't know if you can see. Does this show okay? Uh, this one is full. So for some stuff, you will need a uh, double face to make it not transparent. Like for um, glasses, sometimes if it's a uh, tinted glass, only the front side would, would be visible. Like if you spawn Thompson and look at his glasses from behind him, it will be like transparent, which is stupid because the CDBR didn't fix it. So yeah. Now we export the tank, 
just right click on the uh, FBX and then choose mesh and export select the original which is like here the mesh don't select the buffer it will shoot an error okay and it will close sometimes I don't know why and this is fine because uh, like uh, is this proxy meshes proxy meshes are basically when you move away from uh, a mesh it will go to the low low like blurry low poly ones that's basically it and uh, by default it's not exported so it will always be invisible like if you delete some stuff it will also say it's missing so it's fine like if you want uh, for the body if you just eat it, the, these parts delete and export the, the body it will show like these parts are missing so it's fine okay now it's exported and if you want to make sure just refresh it and it should be fine and then just replace the same thing keep in mind it oh usually always have the out at the back so just rename it to whatever you need and uh, mess drop it yeah that's about it